Hi, so I wanted to do a video that was about the new movie that I saw this weekend called Annihilation. <clears throat> and I, I wrote tons of notes, so I'm not going to waste that opportunity. I'm just going to literally um, say everything that I was thinking right after uh, driving back from the movies. Um, from seeing it. Uh, first off, the movie script was very well written. With the, written. the general audience at times was confused on what was written what was actually happening, which makes this a refreshing take take for the whole industry as a whole. Not since Ex Machia 2015 had the script been so hauntingly beautiful, as well as being a poignant reminder of how how small yet how in, yet individual, sig individually significant we all are as a human species. Overall, the movie actually did did well in giving a smaller taste taste provided in the trailer. Pre Previous and explain and expanding upon it with a suicide s unique hero's journey, hero's journey as well as a strong dialogue and a world building atmosphere. There, there were of course several bits of predictability actions in the way one person went crazy. One was similar to that of that of a robot, one dimensional aspect, uh, one being a badass, more bite than bark. The last person in the predictability was a scientist who, who was, of course, suicidal and had the call of the wild and must become part of nature. Portman, however, was the unique, engaging, engaging case considering she had a husband and was not on a suicidal mission of her own detriment. The tone of the movie was a hard one, hard one to point out for me, for me anyways. But if I had to say one thing, I would have to say it was the colorful uses with the Foreign Lights was one to classify. The theme, of course, being the, being to restart and restart and recycle the world. The the other theme might might be relationships as a figurative thing. Now, the figurative thing is pretty confusing, so you know, feel free to just blast me. The figurative sense of the theme, in my opinion, is based heavily on the notion Portman and Isaac, Oscar Isaac, relationships slowly dying, dying out, with him first almost dying. You know, in real life, but you know, in a figurative sense, um, going back, going back in the flashback to those good old times and their relationship, and then showing, then switching back to Portman regret, regretting and betraying seemingly dead husband, which I don't really think he was dead. I think that was actually happening in real life. If if it's a figurative thing, then yes, this is a, this is another subplot of the Shimmer itself as a hallucination dream state for both Isaac. For both of Isaac and Portman, that ends in the violent fashion of getting rid of their relationship by burning by burning himself literally with a flash grenade. While Portland, my Portland Portman, was willing to go all to go at, at all lengths to have these their their dying relationship, despite her cheating. I know I know what you're all thinking. I know what everyone's thinking. Well, those were previous feelings and traits made into other people. What about those other people in the movies? Was what I was trying to say. Uh, I guess they were just all part of the dream too. They could have been past experiences. Now, the literal sense of what was actually happening it was, in fact, based on possible of three things. The first being the first being an accidental bacteria from another galaxy that had not gone through the process that had gone through the process, but eventually mixed with the Earth's atmosphere and became a, a pathological. An alien disease that one eventually replaced all eventually will replace all living organisms. The second possibility, a literal ex explanation for the shimmer, was the asteroid br breeding new life, as in the case of another film called Life 2017, awful movie, that became intelligent and with time was planning on remaking the world that we live in from a subconscious level or a conscious level. The third possible outcome is that being an asteroid that had properties unknown currently to us, that eventually, when hitting our atmosphere, heavy air mix mix became a patholo pathological night nightmare that mixed DNAs of animals and humans together, eventually making a mutated worldwide problem. The other acting, the other, of course, acting part of that is is. You know, as the alien subconscious or conscious in these decisions, you know, it didn't really seem like it to me, but, you know, I, of course there's a book, and, you know, of course everything has to be based on a book, and I was completely wrong probably, but I'm just, I'm just 
Never seen the, never read the book, so I'm just going off of what I saw. The overall acting of Portman and Isaac were, were great standouts. The acting, unfortunately, by the others was rather weak at times, and sometimes, but sometimes it was great, but rarely, honestly. The alien aspects were very unexpected, as well as being a good way to ex expand on the mystery. The twists and turns that happened throughout the movie was really interesting to, interesting to see play out with the clone of Isaac dying, or maybe the actual Isaac dying. Of course, the ending was, was it good? Well, yes. It was a bit crazy at times, honestly, though. I seriously don't know what's actually happening still. What it... What I mean is Portman Portman is straight up straight up burns the clone and then and this this starts a chain reaction that burns everything in the lighthouse and the shimmer. Eventually the downfall of the shimmer and and the husband of Isaac's clone seemingly and Portman coming coming together was a bit of confusion. Yeah, I I don't know. Pressing questions that I still have is was 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 it the real Isaac? What happened to the other Isaac? Um, did, Port did Portman really know who who he was? Was she an alien? Did she have sex with the alien? Because you know, there was a weird scene where she, he was pushing up on it like that. Lastly, what will come what will come from them surviving it? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, hope that there's not a sequel for the book. Stop making books into movies. Press, uh, the overall rating I'd have, though, for is 95 out of 100. My score, well done. Very artistic, and the music was well fit. Now, I really liked that movie until I found out that it was based on a book. And it's just like, I have me like, fuck. I mean, why does every time there is anything good, it's from a book? You know, and then, of course, you're just going to hear people going, oh, it's a whitewash movie. It's all white people. It's, it's this, it's that. It's like, you know what? I mean... It's not my fault. It's not anyone's fault. They should. They honestly should have realized that we live in a society where you have to have a diverse character in each thing. One white person, one this person, one you know, so on and so forth. And it probably shouldn't have been all women because people are just gonna get turned off on that. But you know what? I don't care. Fuck them. I can already see all the comments, all the people out there in the world saying, "Oh, this is the worst movie ever." Go to hell, honestly, at this point, because uh, that movie was fantastic. Well written, well done. Um, I don't even care if it's written on a book. Well, it was frustrating. Um, but yeah, for sure. I mean, what did you guys think? Did you guys think it was a good movie? I hope so. No pressure, but seriously, how could you not? Um, but yeah, I'll be I'll probably be doing another video, maybe a Red Sparrow coming up, and that silence movie. Oh, that's looking like a good movie, and I'm definitely psyched up, psyched up for that, um, for sure. Maybe the Slender Man. There's not many movies coming out this year that I'm super psyched for, but Slender Man, yeah. Um, but yeah, until next time, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos. Peace.